Hey everybody, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's Skincare Saturday. Sorry about the fan, I hate it. But today I wanted to talk about the Copper Tone Every Tone um, SPF 50 sunscreen. So if you like to hear about this, if it actually blends out with no white cast, all that kind of stuff, then please keep on watching. So once again, this is the Copper Tone Every Tone. It's supposed to blend clear on every skin tone. It's SPF 50, you can use it on your face and body, and seven fluid ounces. I did get this on Amazon. Um, I did moisturize already, but it's important to put on sunscreen, so I'm gonna be doing it on my arm, my face, and all that kind of stuff. So lightweight and won't clog pores with nourishing vitamin E, free of oxybenzone, oxinate, P PABA, and phthalates, water resistant 80 minutes. So anyway. So every tone is specifically formulated to blending clear and stay clear on all skin tones. Stops up to 98% of UV rays. So, okay. So the day we went on our free date to the zoo, this was what I was wearing. And I do have to say it did a really good job of keeping me from getting sunburned. Doesn't really have a scent. So definitely goes on clear because even though I'm pale I still like if I use like for example um, I got this um, sunscreen lotion SPF 30 this stuff does have that white cast I'll go ahead and do side by side but you see let me wipe this off real quick uh, okay and then the copper tone I'm going to do it right next to it, about the same amount. So you can see that I can blend, 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 and I still have the white cast. So eventually the regular sunscreen, it can blend out, but I definitely feel like if you have a deeper skin tone, it's definitely going to leave a white cast, like a regular sunscreen. Um, but, so it does have a white, it does look white, but it does blend out clear, like it says it will. It definitely leaves your skin looking dewy, because it is a sunscreen, um, but, I know I see commercials for the Black Girl sunscreen, and that one is made um, by a person of color for people of color, so it's supposed to be clear. Um, it is kind of pricey, I did look it up. Um, I definitely think if you do want to support a black owned brand, definitely go with the Black Girl sunscreen. If you're looking for something that is maybe a little bit cheaper, um, something that is maybe easily accessible, because once again I did get this on Amazon. I think the Copper Tone Every Tone, I think it's a really good product. Um, I use this without moisturizing, so this is very moisturizing. You can see how shiny it is. Um, it does feel tacky, like a regular sunscreen would. Um, so there's definitely some pros and cons for me. Um, I have used a matte sunscreen. I do prefer that for my face, just because it doesn't look shiny. I do have combo skin. So it does make my make me look oily, but I do like that it goes on clear. There's no white cast to it. Um, when I went to the zoo, it stayed clear all day long. So it's not like once it goes on the skin, it will change or anything like that. This does bother my eyes. So if I sweat, this will run into my eyes and it does give me some irritation. Um, I've used one sunscreen before that doesn't do that. So most sunscreens used on my face will irritate my eyes if I do sweat. Just FYI. Um, but I do think it was a good sunscreen. Um, it definitely did help me help prevent me from getting sunburned. Goes on clear. I do think this would be good for all skin tones. Yeah, I, I do like it. But there's definitely some cons. If you have combo or oily skin, it's definitely going to give you that super shiny look. Um, so it's really going to depend on what you want, but it is affordable, it's easily accessible, and I do think it does what it says it does. It goes on clear, and SPF 50 does help prevent getting sunburned. And no matter what your skin color is, 
you still need to use sunscreen because even if you are darker, you might not get sunburned. But just FYI, black people can still get sunburned. It, it can still happen. So, um, but uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, it's important to use sunscreen no matter what color your skin is. But I do understand traditional sunscreens can look ashy, can look super white on the skin. So I do like the Copper Tone Every Tone. I think it is a good product. I would recommend it. There we go, short and sweet uh, this week. But anyway, there we go. I will go ahead and link it down below. It is not an Amazon affiliate link. I have not done one of those in forever. So I'll go ahead and link it down below for you if you are interested. I'll also put it in the products that one does. If you buy it, I can earn a commission, but just use the Amazon link. It's fine. Don't worry about it. But anyway, there we go. I hope you did enjoy this week's Skincare Saturday. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, share it, all that kind of stuff. Let me know down below in the comments if you've used the Copper Tone Every Tone. Did you like it? If you are someone with darker skin, a person of color, did it blend out clear? I'd love to know down below. And make sure you subscribe. I do upload seven days a week all about budget stuff. So I do budget beauty. I do vlogs, grocery hauls, home care, some weight loss. So make sure that you do subscribe. But I do appreciate you stopping by. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. It might be one of mine. It might be somebody else's. But sit back, relax, enjoy. And I'll see you all here in just a sec.